my God. Hi. I'm dying in the van. I am. I'm dying. I'm <clears throat> doing this video as a last message to tell my family that I love them because I'm dying of heat in the van in Asheville. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! It is like so hot here. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're dying in the van. There's the van. Oh. My dog's laying out in the. We did find this really nice spot here at the, when I came to the grocery store. It's all shade. And my dog's laying against this fence. She's dug herself a hole into the cold earth, which is what she did when she was a stray in South Carolina, even hotter. And, uh,. And she's hidden by bushes, so, you know, we're really a stealth over here, except someone keeps pulling up and parking here and then leaving. And they're like, I've got the open door with the bamboo, so it's probably pretty scary for them, but I could give a care right now because I'm dying in the van. <laughs> it totally sucks. I just went to a mechanic shop and had them check and see if there was any pressure in the AC system. And, um, the whole wheel's not turning, so it's likely, you know, it's like a $300 job to get the whole thing fixed, and, you know, September I won't need it, so I don't know what we're going to do. This is, um, this can go on, but, I mean, it's just, I can't do anything during the day. I mean, today we woke up, and, um, it was pretty cool today. Okay, wait, I forgot to tell you. And, by the way, this is, like, my sixth video, but I, I... I haven't been able to get online long enough to upload them, and uh, yesterday my camera kept turning off, so let me check it. <laughs> okay, um, so yesterday I found out there was this big music jam free thing at this theater, and <clears throat> it was right next to where we were parking for the night, which is a pretty cool spot. And I thought maybe I could go in there for a half hour and dance and listen to music, and then come and check on my dog, <laughs> and then go back again, and maybe have a drink, and then come back. But no, I come back to the van, like, a half hour later, and I'm like, Pi me, Pi me. My dog's not in the van. Totally freaked me out. So when I got my dog, they said she was an escape artist, and that's how she ended up being out in the wild anyway, probably. She climbed through a window that was literally, I measured it, <clears throat> this length from my thumb to here, my dog climbed out of that big furry orange dog, dropping down 10 feet to a cement road, and ran into a town we don't even know, people I don't even know, on uh, in the middle of the night, well it was, must have been midnight, or 11.30 at that time, midnight, oh man, I started running around all over the place, pie me, pie me, there's like drunk people going, I'm pie me, and like stupid shit, and I was not fun, you know, I'm just like, oh my god, like, are you kidding me, I'm looking for my dog, have you seen a big orange dog, it was awful, and, um, then I realized she probably went to the little park that we had gone to the first day, and then went over there, I was like, pie me, pie me, and sure enough, there's these two homeless guys had her, and they're like, she's over here, and they said, you know, they had seen me when I came into town, and the, everybody recognized the dog, of course, like, I can't walk five feet practically without someone going, oh, can I pet your dog? So, um, so, um, so thank God they had her, and I didn't have any money or anything to give him. I gave him a cigarette, and, you know, Pime was okay, but Pime has been having a hard time, because after two days in the city, I guess, with the heat, and uh, she's not wanting to be in the van. The window doesn't open. You know, we're driving around. I'm opening the door, trying to keep air going. But the days have been awful. And by the time it's night, you know, I've got one light in here, and I don't want to. We haven't like gone to Walmart or any place where it'd be okay to have a light on. We've just been in Asheville, which has been cool. And so I haven't been able to work or crochet. It's too freaking hot. So um, that's freaking me out. It's been three days. That's fine, but just being able to tell that I won't be able to work as long as it's hot like this, 
is freaking me out a little bit. Just checking on my girl. But, um, I don't know what we're going to do. We don't have enough money for, you know, obviously hotels or to fix the AC right now or even to camp for very long, which isn't going to make that much of a difference. I mean, without all the cement, it'll be about six degrees cooler, possibly. <clears throat> we can, You know, thinking positively, we're lucky we got this spot right now. It's a few more hours of heat tonight. I'm hoping to find a cooler spot so I can crochet a little bit. <laughs> I did get online today and do a bunch of stuff with my businesses, and... So, I mean, but I can't be, like, in survival mode through the rest of July and August, like, trying to hide out every day. I can't not work that long. So, something's got to give. I have a couple phone calls to make. I've got a friend that lives here. Just see what's up with him. And I've got the two people I just met. Each of them live in, like, co-op community situations. And um, they were like, hey, you should come and check out our thing. Let us help you find somewhere to live. And I hadn't even said I was looking for somewhere to live. I just said we were moving here, you know, and we're you know, not in any big hurry, and blah, 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 we're just exploring, and he had said that, and that was really cool, and, um, so we'll probably call them, and just be like, hey, love to visit, and see what's up with you, and, um, the gal and I had talked, and said we'd do that, but I don't want to bore you to death, I just want to tell you that I was going to die in the van, so here's my van life experience right now, I'm friggin' dying, and my friend at the amazing journey, you know, I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. This is my spray bottle for when I'm sewing. I just spray water and then do the iron. Because <laughs> then you don't have to keep filling up the iron because this holds a lot more, but now I'm using it for this. And I'm worried about my dog, but she's okay now, and she's in the cool earth, and I figured that's better than any other place we could go. We might go down by the French Broad River later, which I've been wanting to anyway, to um, cool off. But I also, if I want... I can do a little stealth shower right here, like later, like look, there's two bushes, here's the front of the van, you might be able to see my dog behind that bush, <laughs> but there's a bush there, and a bush there, and I bet in that spot right there, being as short as I am, at 4 feet 11 and 3 fourths inches, that I could put my bathing suit on, and I'll put my um, Castile, natural Castile soap, in, you know, on me in little dots, and then pour the water, and so be soapy, and then pour the water again. <laughs> I might just wait to see how that river is. Um, that's about it. Don't want to bore you to death. Uh, by the time you get this video, you will have seen the others, so that's moot. Um, thanks for watching. Talk with you later. Bye. <laughs>